All right, we're going to try to get comfortable with the shuffle beat. Again, what we're going to try to do here is count a one, two, and three, four. Using what I call the Johnny Cash, so we're hitting the low end of the chord, then the full chord, right? One, two, and, right? That's what we're aiming for. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Right, so if I add a G two chord, a G chord to it, it'd be one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. All right. As I described before, when I go to play any chords like A, A minor, or C, because they're off the fifth string, right? I, my thumb comes around, and I kind of touch that low string. Just by touching that low string like that, it gets that thack sound. So I, when I include the chord, even if I hit all six strings, you're not hearing. All right, so you do the same thing. One, two, and three, four. same thing. trick is when you get into chords off your four strings so d d minor or f the way you're playing it right so f we're gonna need for that song we have coming up All right, or d if you want to just work on d That's sort of uh, how we're going to approach practicing this. Um, the other thing you can do is try to put, you know, a metronome on or the drum beat guy and uh, see if you're able to um, play along and do that sort of, uh, you know, that sort of um, strum pattern using the drummer as, uh, as your guide, right? So let me see what we got here. Let me put one on here. So it's at 60 beats per minute. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Pretty slow, but it gets doable if we go up to 70 beats per minute. Seventy might work, maybe even eighty will be comfortable for you. But see what you can do. You have any questions? Holla.